how does water go from being a gas, water vapor, to a liquid, regular liquid water? This demonstration is going to answer that question. We have two glasses in this demonstration. One is going to have ice and one is not. I want you to watch the changes that happen. This one, the one on the left, will be the one that is just going to be our control group. I'm not going to do anything to it. In science, a control group is the one that doesn't have the experimental condition added to it. So for this case, it's going to be plain, regular water. This one on the right, this one's going to be our experimental group. I'm going to put some ice in it to change its temperature, and we're going to watch what happens. This is a time-lapse video. As time passes, you'll be able to see it. It gets a little faster as we go throughout the video. You can see that the video is going to start at 10.18 a.m., so you're welcome to watch the time just to see what the changes are. Let's take a look. Here we start. You can see that I'm putting the ice into this one here on the right. At this point, the glasses both are dry, and they are both the same temperature. That's not going to last for long. As the video goes on, we start to see fog forming up here on this part of the glass. You can see a little water dripping down every now and then too, and you can tell when I touch it, look how wet it is. The water droplets are getting bigger and bigger. More water drips down along the outside of the glass. Look how much the glass on the right is changing. Why is it changing and the one on the left is not? What is the difference between the two glasses? I'm going to pause right here so you can take a look at the thermometers. You can see that the glass on the left is 18.2 degrees Celsius. The glass on the right is only 9.2 degrees Celsius. So the one on the right is much colder than the one on the left. We're going to watch this again. What do you think made the glass get wet on the right? These glasses are the same. They're in the same air. I didn't put any water on the outside of the glass. So how does that get there? Think about the one thing that I changed. I changed the temperature. What impact did changing the temperature have on the glass? Let's watch again. The process that we're watching here is the same one that causes clouds to form in the sky. This is condensation. Condensation is when water vapor, a gas, turns into liquid water. So what makes it do that? Can you tell from the video? Think about the temperature of the ice. So thinking about the ice will help you figure out what is going on. The one on the left has no condensation on it. It's perfectly dry and still warm. The one on the right is wet. It's covered in liquid water now, and it's cold. That is the secret. Condensation happens when water gets cold. When things get cold, the molecules squinch up closer together. When they do that, they join together. This allows the, mo the molecules to go from being a gas in the air that's all spread out to a liquid that is close together. The water on the outside of the glass was in the air the entire time. We just couldn't see it. The change in temperature allowed the glass to reach the dew point. Once the outside of the glass reached the dew point, the dew or water or condensation started to form. Now you know how a cloud is formed.
So there you go. Condensation.